today I'll be doing a short how-to video on how to solder your 3.5 millimeter bullet connectors to your motors or ESCs. To start off, you'll want to pre-tin the wires coming out of your electronics. I'll be using a number of tools. I'll be using the Benzomatic Butane Torch. I'll be using some flux core solder, a small diameter. A pair of scissors to cut my shrink tube, a lighter to light my torch or to shrink the shrink tube, and of course today I'll be using uh, the 3.5 millimeter male bullet connectors um, and these will go on the motor. Um, I have some black shrink tube that I will be putting over the connectors and the wire and I'm using uh, my helping hands. Um, I suggest everyone own a pair of these that will be doing a lot of soldering uh, relatively cheap. I picked mine up for $14 at a hobby store. Um, first we're going to go ahead and place one of the bullet connectors in the gator clips and then we'll go ahead and light our torch and we will start uh, heating up the connector. You want to make sure that your connector um, is nice and hot um, we don't want any cold solder joints. Uh, once it's reached a temperature where it can sustain the uh, molten solder by itself, I'll fill the back end to about 90 to 95 percent full so that when I put my wire in it doesn't run over. You may need to add more heat to the connector so that you have a nice clean solder joint. Then go ahead and place your wire in the connector and try to hold it as steady as possible until the solder cools. Once it's cool, you can go ahead and remove it from your gator clip. And then we'll go ahead and prep our shrink tube. Um, I like to cut mine about three quarters of an inch long so that I have enough to cover the back end of the connector and then up the wire. Place it on so that you cover the back half so when your two connectors meet, it's they join. And then I'll use my heat gun to uh, shrink down my tube. You can either use a lighter or your torch, but I prefer to use the heat gun. Once you're done, go ahead and uh, finish up by doing the other wires on your motor. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and it helps. Um, if you please like and then subscribe to my channel, it would be much appreciated. Thanks for watching.